I think it's fair to say that we've all been in a situation where we're, we're looking for just the right size little gift bag for a last minute gift for a friend or a family member. And I think we've got just what you're looking for, especially if you're looking for a, a gift bag for a girlfriend or a mother uh, or somebody that's a girl. Uh, our dainty gift bag here, if you take a look at what we have in front of us, we've got some nice lace trim accents for this bag. And um, it's just, just a really cute looking bag that goes together very quickly. So let's just take a look at the components here. Uh, we've got the main structure of the bag here. We'll put that off to the side for now. And we can kind of just focus on getting things ready. So we have the little um, flap that is gonna um, close the bag. We have this little accent piece that we're gonna get glued onto that first. And again, I only say first because this is the order that I'm doing it in, but you're welcome to do it in any order you'd like to do it in. I'm sure that many of you, and I've, I've heard the feedback, you guys kind of skim through the video sometimes just to take a look at the assembly and you know gauge um, how easy or difficult or time consuming it may be. And uh, while you're doing that, a lot of you, especially those of you that have been working with our files for a long time, pretty much get the idea of how things go together. So we're gonna take this little panel piece and glue it onto this little flap first. And get that on there nicely. And I'm just gonna run my brayer over it. Okay, so we got that put together. We can just put that off to the side for now. We'll use that in just a moment. And we have this lace piece here this is the main piece. You'll notice that there are some score lines on this, and that is just to simply help you get this piece nice and lined up and nice and centered. So you can take our, take our piece here and get your glue on it. This is, a, this is like a pearlescent white paper, and I want to say that it's a little bit thicker than the typical AC cardstock that we use. So I am not as concerned about any of the uh, the warping that sometimes happens with the standard cardstock. So I just went a little bit heavier with the glue. Get that on there nicely. That's going to create uh, a nice little bevel look to give this piece some dimension. Get that nice and centered. Okay. And then we're going to take this accent piece here and get that glued nice and centered onto the existing pieces that we have here. So do your best to get that nice and lined up and centered. Make sure it's nice and flush with the top as well. And I need to take a look at that from a different angle. That looks good. Okay. Now once we get this on there, um, the way that Ron designed this was he wanted to add some little pearls on this little strip here so that they almost look like little buttons. Uh, I guess, you know, it's like a, a nice little blouse with some lace trim. Okay, so we're going to get this glued on in just a little bit. And if you want, you can actually take and, and pull these, this lace out a little bit so there's some dimension to it once we get it glued on. Just kind of, just give it a good little flick just to kind of peel it back so that it doesn't rest against the paper perfectly. Just give it a little extra interest, okay? Um, you know what, we can actually, I'm gonna do this, do this last. Let's let this set for a second and take a look at our bow, okay? So we've got our bow here. I actually hit this with a, a light turquoise. This is Sea Breeze by Dewdrop. It's the Versa Magic style. And I'm gonna take a 3 8 inch dowel and train this to kind of give it some roundness before we glue it into place so that we don't get just a really harsh crease. Okay, I'm just kind of focusing the training there in the center. And it, it's gonna crease a little bit, but maybe not as bad if we do this. So the idea here is you'll notice that there's score marks here on these little tabs. You don't actually need to bend them. I'm just showing you so I can illustrate where they are. And what we're gonna do is just Put a little drop of glue right in the center there. There's a center area between the two score lines there. And just go ahead and push one of these down. 
so that it matches up with that little scored area. And just press and hold that down in place for a few seconds while it sets. Okay. And then drop another piece of glue there, another drop of glue, and grab that other one right over that little area. And let's press and hold that while it dries. Make sure that you have it nice and aligned. You don't want it skewed one way or another. Sometimes it's hard for me to do that on camera, but doing my best here. Whoops. I'm just not holding it down. You guys gotta hold it down. I'm gonna use my dowel here so I can kind of play with this and fluff it up a little bit. Okay, so that should hold nicely. And then we have this little piece here and I'm gonna actually go ahead and just kind of curl that around my dowel. Okay, just to kind of make it round. And the idea is to put it in the center like this here. And I'm gonna kind of um, let it flare out a little bit so it gives it a little extra dimension. So I'm gonna flip it over, put a little drop of glue on the back of that, and then just push and hold that down. Let's get that first piece in place and then we can work on getting that to flare out a little more. Okay, so hold that in place, give it a few seconds, and then you can kind of shape this thing a little bit. Just make it pop a little bit. You don't have to, yours can be flat like that. I'm gonna make mine pop just a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna fold that over, pop some glue in between these two pieces here, and just push and hold that down until that sets, okay. Our bow is almost complete. This is where a, uh, God, I can't even think of the name. Those wooden clips that you use. <clears throat> a clip, this is where a, a clothes pin might kind of come in handy to hold that closed for you. Okay. okay, so the bow is all but done here. The last thing we're gonna do is put the little tail on it and I'm gonna flare this out a little bit so it doesn't sit flat, give it a little bit of dimension and then we're gonna pop a little bit of glue on the back here and I want to just get that aligned so that the little, this little part here, the V, where the tail meets the, uh, the two tails meet just goes just right behind there, just ever so slightly. Okay, we're gonna hold that in place. Just make sure that you also don't have it, you know, um, cockeyed or, or skewed. You wanna to try to make it symmetrical if possible. Okay, so there's our bow. We'll give that a second to fully cure. That's cute. Okay, and now onto the actual box itself which again is made up of these two pieces here. And now you can see that I've kind of pre-folded this one here. I'm gonna grab both of these. You're gonna repeat the same thing here, but get everything folded as far as the tabs go. And then the little creases in the center are just to kind of help with the shape and also um, so that it has that, you know, that squeeze box sort of look. So my suggestion for you would be to leave this as flat as you can while you're working on it so you don't accidentally crease something you don't want to crease. And just give it a crease in the center ever so slightly. Don't go all the way down to the bottom. There is a, a score mark here as well, uh, but you don't have to crease that all the way. Just this part here is probably the most important. And then take this side and crease that other one as well and then give this score line here a nice little crease as well. Okay, because then what happens is we're gonna push this in like that, like that, and like that. And once it's all glued together, it's gonna kinda, um, it's gonna be a, a lot more narrow up towards the top, okay? So you get the idea, it's pretty straightforward. I think once we get this all glued together, it will kind of just assume its shape and position. So don't worry about it too much. And um, 
It would help if I did this on camera. Okay, let's go ahead and get our glue on this tab here so we can connect the two sides together. And I'm gonna put a nice little line right along the edge there. And just run my finger along the edge there. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my table here. And I'm just kind of using my eyes up here to make sure that I've got this lined up correctly. And it always helps to crease these score marks because visually I can see that those score marks are in the same, on the same plane as well. So I'm just gonna give that a nice, nice push. And then when it gets its initial hold, you can kind of flip it over onto itself and just run your finger along there and make sure that it's nice and aligned and finish it off by pushing down just a little more. Okay. And then we're gonna close this up by putting glue on this tab now. So let's do that. And just a nice little fine line towards the bottom there. Probably need a little more. Okay. And spread that out. I'm just gonna spread that out nice and thin all the way around. <clears throat> And I'm just gonna close this up by lining it up. You can actually do this flat. Shouldn't matter, because we've already scored everything. Okay, and just make sure that it's nice and aligned at the top. The rest of it should just fall into place. And give it a good push. Use my little brayer there. Okay. All right, so you see what happens now. You can kind of fold it in that way. Okay, and one other thing you'll notice is that on one of these sides, you have a series of score marks going down the center here, and that is to help you with the placement of your little trim piece here, the lace. Okay, so that is nice. And then to close up the bottom, we're gonna take the two sides and fold them in. Okay, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna close up. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna close this, the bottom part, or the back side first, so that we have a nice clean seam on the front. If you do it the other way, when you glue this, you might see that if you don't do a good job gluing it. But if you put this, if you tuck the back in first and close up the front, you're guaranteed a nice clean seam here because that's part of the paper. And um, on the back is where you'll see, you know, the opening, so to speak. So either way is fine. Uh, I think this will just give us a cleaner look. So get your glue on this. This this thing fits perfectly, so it doesn't matter where you put your glue on the interior, but let's definitely make sure that we get enough glue going around the perimeter. And I'm working the very edge here, and what I'll do is I'm gonna lift this up and just run that glue all the way out to the very edge, all the way around. Okay, and then Make sure that it's nice and even, and then you can lift that up and glue that down. And this is the back. I'm just, I have it flipped. Okay, so that's good. Then you can put it on your table and stick your hand in there. Push down, make sure that that gets a good hold. Okay, that looks nice. And the front looks great. Now, if you have this, what you can do is grab a piece of scrap paper. Let me do that real quick. I'm not even sure what this is, but just throw a little bit of glue on your scrap and just sandwich it in there and just paint some glue onto that little piece and then just push up and give it a little extra love to make sure that that part is nice and glued into place. And I've got the same situation on the other side. So I'll just repeat that. And just pop it right in there. And give it a good push. You can put that on your table, push from the inside if you want. Okay, almost done. Like I said, pretty quick. These, uh, this being two pieces, really kind of speeds up putting this thing together. Okay, so uh, we can put our little 
flap on here now. And again, when you're about to put the flap on, remember which side's the front. Either side will work, but this side does have the little score marks on it. And what you want is the flap to close over this way. So we do need to glue the flap here. Okay, so let's get our glue on the tab here and run that glue right up to the edge. I'm gonna spread that nice and thin and just get that lined up nicely with the top there and pop that tab right in there. Okay, give it, a, give it a second to get its initial hold. Don't push down too hard. And then you can go ahead and kind of squeeze it and nudge it into place so that it definitely has and is in the correct spot. Okay, so that looks good, just like that. <clears throat> okay, so our little flap is in place. We can kind of pull that back and push down from the inside to make sure that that sets nicely. And this is where we can put our little trim piece on. Okay, so again, we have a little guide there to help us. Keep your glue within the borders of the little score marks there. There's really no need to put them on the lace portion there. Okay, and get that glued into place. Now I may need to, I may need to jam my head in here a little bit, if that's okay with you guys. And make sure that Make sure that it's nice and flush at the bottom. If it sticks up a little bit at the top, I'm not overly concerned about that, but just make sure it's nice and flush at the bottom so that it doesn't prevent this thing from standing upright. Okay, so I think I got that pretty good. I'm gonna put this flat on my table so I can push down on it and make sure that everything on there adheres nicely. And that is really cute. Okay, so we'll close that up. Look at that, very cute. You can kind of give these, these sides a little bit more of a squeeze if you want to. And we just kind of clean it or finish it off here with our little bow. You can either pop dot that or glue it down. I'm gonna use a little foam square here. You can use a pop dot, you can glue it down, you can hot glue it down. Uh, whatever floats your boat will work just fine. Let me give this a little added dimension with a little pop dot or a foam square, I should say. Let me just get that on there real quick and then I'll show you. I wanna make sure that I get it nice and centered. There we go, very cute. And then if you want to keep it closed, what you can do is I have, um, I have these little pop dots that are completely flat. They're not dimensional. They're not the 3D Zots. And you can just kind of throw one right on the top of this lace thing here, the lace trim piece, and use that to kind of keep it closed. And it won't rip the paper because it's very delicate, or not delicate, but it's not as sticky as some of the other stuff that you could potentially use. So, so there's the actual bag. And then what I'm probably gonna do, and I'm gonna do this off camera just because uh, I wanna make sure that I am accurate with my placement. I'm gonna add some uh, nice rose pearls to this. And you just have to take a look at the final photo on the website. What I'm gonna do after I get the pearls on here is just use a little black marker or a black pen, a very thin pen to draw little lines to the left and right of the pearls to make it almost look like um, these are buttons that are buttoned up. Okay, so take a look at the final photo to get an idea of what that's gonna look like. That's just an added touch uh, that you can or don't have to do, that's totally up to you. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I can't wait to see your version of this and would love to hear a little story and background on, on how you plan on using it and who's getting it and what their reaction was. Uh, so if you do do that, check us out on Facebook. Do a search for Dreaming Tree Group on Facebook and um, we'd love to see you in there. And as always, if you love this video, take a moment and visit us on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. And of course, I look forward to crafting with you again.
Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.